If you live in the Burlington or Vermont area, chances are if you haven't seen this artist's work, you probably have some hanging in your house. I know I do. So I'd like to introduce Kath Monstream. Kath, come on in. Hi, Kath. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. Good to see you. Thanks. All right. So, Kath, you are, like I said, everywhere your art is. Uh, it's very I iconic to look at. So how did you get started painting? Um, I think it was the only subject I was good at in school growing up. It was like kind of the thing I, I was usually okay at. So um, that kind of started me. And then I made a bunch of handmade mm, thank you cards for my wedding and mm, 30 years ago. And people said, oh, you should try to sell these. And that at first I was like, oh, right. But then after a while, I was like, you know what, maybe I will. And so a few stores took them. And after a while, I was just like making greeting cards. And that's how it started. So what were you doing before then as an occupation? Or oh, little known secret. I sold real estate. I don't tell everybody that. Just that's between me. Sold real okay. estate. And I worked at Lunix as a server for a long time. I loved it with Bob Conley. Oh, it was, oh. who, who yeah. wouldn't love working at, at, at Lunix, especially with Bob Conley? Yeah. And they had this amazing shift that started at eight at night and went till two in the morning. But for someone like me who loves to ski, it was Perfect. Go ski all day, come back, have dinner, and then go to work at eight. It's a long day. I love it. In one of, one of the best restaurants in Burlington, and yeah. right there on Church Street. No, that that would be fun to it work was. at. Yeah. So you went from cards, uh, making cards, into yeah. larger paintings. Right. Someone was looking over my shoulder one day. I was like, "Can you make me something like that bigger?" And I thought, uh, "Yeah, sure." So that sort of started it, and I had a show and. For some reason, everybody seemed to like what I was doing and they took them all away. So I was like, oh, okay, I think I'll make some more paintings. So it was it was very so, organic. It wasn't like I ever said, I wanna be an artist and I wanna pursue this. It just sort of kept unfolding in this really natural way, which was great. So I know I have a couple of your prints. I don't have any originals, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, that, it, it, those are watercolors, correct? Um, the last one was an oil painting and you can tell okay. it's not so see-through. It's actually the last two were oil paintings. Okay. That's okay. That's a watercolor. <laughs> That's a watercolor. That's what I'm used to. So which do you prefer to work with? I always I always describe it as children. You know, one week you have a favorite, but you never you never tell. But like one of you you're getting along really well with one, but the other ones are really like running around and sassing you and you're frustrated. But I feel like it's the same. Like one week I like oil paintings better and the next week it's like watercolors. And so I think I go through stages that are just not necessarily predictable. So like now you have you, you have a storefront um, on St. Paul Street, but right. you also have a studio as well. That's yeah. not your studio. You have a studio elsewhere. Right. So I have a place where I paint and people can come by. But then I have a like a showroom, a gallery, where which is different again, where that's just to show the work, not necessarily for me to work there. So my husband works there, which works out really well. And he ships the greeting cards and does all that. And I can be at the painting studio to actually paint at the soda plant. So you're doing all the work and he's back there uh, just. Uh, no, no, he does all the work. He has to ship all that stuff and talk to people and he has to feel the calls, find out who he's got to pay. Uh, so yeah, no, his, his job is harder than mine. So what has been what has been your most popular picture or uh, painting? Do you have, is there a way well, to judge that? I probably would say of the prints, it's probably the poppies with camel's hump in the background. I think over the years, that's been probably our most popular seller. I think, I don't know why, it just, one of my friends one day is like, the theme is Wizard of Oz, make me a Vermont painting. And I was like, what, how am I gonna do <laughs> So I was like, well, Field of Poppies, Camel's Hump. And here it has been like, I don't know, 15 years, we keep reprinting this one print and it just keeps selling. So I probably is my most favorite and most popular. All right, so you, you're, you, you paint, but you also have some, extracurricular activities you like to partake in. So talk about those, would you please? Sure, um, I started um, a group last year um, called the Red Hot Chili Dippers on Instagram because I wanted <laughs> to go in the lake in the winter and I had been doing it for three years, but during the pandemic, I feel like people were really looking for something to do outside and just sort of shock yourself because the news was so, it was so, yeah, exactly. The news was so scary and we are all in like such a state of wondering 
what's going to happen next? So I was go. I started going every every day, and people kept coming up to me or texting me, going, "Hey, when are you going next? I want to go." And I'm like, "Okay." So I was trying to think of a name, and I was like, "Oh, the Seal Club, the Ladies of the Lake." I had all these dumb names, and then my daughter was like, "Mom, Red Hot Chili Dippers," and I was like, "Well, yeah." And so then for there, I just started offering it to people and collecting email and just saying, you know, if you want to try this, I will, you know, give you some help and, and also let you know if I think it's a good fit for you and have you talked to your doctor or whatever and <laughs> sort of help people in. And, and uh, it's been really successful. People love it. And I think we have a, a film clip about it. So oh, yeah. Yeah. You you want, yeah. That looks about right. Oh my God. And how cold's the water? Or what's the water temperature? That would have been 34 degrees probably, or uh, 0 0.1 Celsius. <laughs> um, <laughs> it is but really you also, cold, but you do get used to it. Like your, your brain anticipates what it feels like. Your body doesn't get used to it, but your brain, it doesn't make you scream anymore. It's, it, you know, maybe you it might a little bit, but the shock, you get past the shocking part and you, you anticipate it and you just sort of like, okay, I can do this. I think oh, you also, you also run. Yeah. You're a runner. Yeah. Yeah, I do. The it's marathon. I uh, no, that's too far. No. Oh, okay. I, I thought oh, I yes, saw you at the marathon. I've always seen you. Yes. I always do a piece of it. I always love seeing you at the marathon. You're always, I, what, so you're right. I yeah. do a little tiny piece of it. But, oh, well, good. It's yeah. always good to see you. Yeah. All right, now, do you have any future projects that you want to accomplish or is this something that you look yeah. forward to? I'm hoping, I think when you're a visual artist, you try to wait till something sort of hits you over the head and inspires you. And so right now, certainly the cold water and the ice and snow has been just so beautiful and magnificent to me. So I'm trying to um, sort of put a show together for October. Um, and then it'll just be about you know, if I can get those paintings done. Right now I'm trying to make them and it's not working. Ice is hard to paint. It's like, it's a very, it's just hard. So I've got some work to do and, uh, but I have a few months and I think once the ice is gone, which we're really close, I think then I will buckle down and really stay in my studio and paint more. But right now I'm just like, oh, back to the lake, back to the lake. Oh, <laughs> like, well, you're crazy, all right? I'm gonna say it, you're crazy. It makes you love winter though. It's just like it, it, it empowers you and it sort of feels like it's very defiant. It's like, oh, you don't think I can go in? Well, give me my sledgehammer and you watch. Here we go. You know, it's like very, it is, it's empowering. So. Oh, all right. Just, that is so great, cool. Great, that great, is great. so cool. Thank oh, you. Right. Well, thank you so much for being a part of Amber Live tonight.